All right, hey, what's going on, guys? I eh, figured I'd um show you guys uh well do a little rebuild video. Basically, I'm getting some leakage uh, right back here. It's coming out of the um what do you call it the uh, the back end, kind of smoking up and stuff. And so usually it's just a rear retaining clip. But basically, kind of just I'm leaving the back housing on, and I disconnected the. What do you call it? Downpipe, because I wasn't going to take it off. I'm like, hey, why am I going to do that? Because there's just an easy V band. Loosen that, and then you can separate the center section with the housing away from that. And then once I get that off, then I could take this off, and then I'll get you the other videos later. So basically, if you have the turbo off the car, um, you know, you're going to take up and have this whole thing. If you have it on the car and it's accessible, like how mine is, you can simply just undo this V band. Disconnect everything else, so then uh, make sure you got your drain, uh, what do you call it, disconnected as well. And then once you do that, just pop that off and then put it on the table for when you're ready to work. Alright, uh, here we go. Alright, so <clears throat> next step is you have the turbo off the car. You can see where I've been leaking, you know, excessive oil right there, through there. Um, basically, there's a retainer. Um, it's basically like a, a C-clip and that's supposed to hold back you know some of the oil you can see all of it you know like caked up here from it seeping through here um, you know I'm really changing this because I don't want the damn car to catch on fire so the next step what to do is you know get a 14 uh, millimeter 12 point socket that's gonna fit on the back make sure it's nice and you know tight so you're gonna have that there to hold back with a 3 h drive and then on the front, let me just be careful of that front housing, or that turbine, that right there, that nut is a uh, 10 millimeter 12.2 as well. So you go and just make that, and these are reverse thread. So basically, <clears throat> lefty loosey is actually righty tidy. So if you go and turn it, you know, counterclockwise, that's actually, um, what do you call it, tightening it up, and then clockwise is, um, what do you call it, <clears throat> loosening it. And so you can kind of see, see all this, you know, oil that I got caked up in here. I get some brakes cleaner and clean up all that shit. But, so that's, uh, that's that part. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on getting, uh, what do you call it, I'm going to loosen up the nut first. Just so while I'm doing this, I have some like leverage so I don't mess up, you know, the compressor housing. And then once I loosen that up, then I will take off the compressor housing with some, uh, what do you call it, some um, needle nose pliers. Or not needle nose, but sorry, snap ring pliers. And basically squeeze that, kind of pop it out. You can use like a flat blade to pull it out. And then you separate it. And then you'll be there. Alright, so hopefully that'll be the next step. All right, one important step that you got to make sure you do. Um, I mean, even these, supposedly, you know, they're zero balance. You see, this got cuts, and uh, what do you call it? The front has cuts as well, um, but then you see the nut. Uh, it's got some things. I don't know, there's a lot of issues. But basically, what you need to do is uh, go and scribe or mark the relationship of the turbine shaft to the compressor wheel. So once you um, reinstall it, then you know it'll be close to being balanced and you don't have to worry about imperfections. Alright, so once you, you know, you can scribe or mark the relationship from the turbine to the compressor. Yeah, I'm trying to do this thing with, you know, recording myself and do all that. But you know, when you're handling this, you want to make sure the, the fins, um, you know, don't get chipped, bent or anything. So let's see if I can... Kind of hold the phone in a certain way. But, all right, let's see if we can do it like that. All right, so there you go. So hold it back, and I already have it, you know, kind of loose already. So there, turn that off, pull that off. There goes your nut. Your wheel slides off. Put this in a safe place. Do that one time. Put it on top of my car. 
on top of a rag. So compressor wheel there. Now you have this whole guy. You just you know slide. Sometimes they're a little bit of pain, and probably I'm getting that little restriction. Um, you can use a little bit of a rubber mallet. Usually, what I do is I would put this back on, and then um, just give it a tap. And see, because that retaining clip in the back. Look at me, I'm over here trying to loosen it on. I'm just paying more attention to the back end because I don't want to have anything. So now, let me get my rubber mallet. Just a slight little tap. And don't do a lot of force when you tap it. It's just, you know, a little quick tap. Take this back off. Oh, look at me, I'm... Take that back off. And then, um... You can slide out the turbine and so from inspection on here you can see all that Rotella 15W40 getting burnt and caked up on this back end and so there you go with your center section you know bearings are inside there like oh gaping hole um, you know you have that it's this retaining clip in the back that usually it collapses or things of that nature and then that's where a lot of this uh, oil kind of seeps through and then also there's other things if your crankcase isn't pulling enough um, I got this turbo used so that's on that but basically oil is seeping out here and then flowing down here and then coming out here and you know of course this is close to the um, what do you call it the T3 flange you know, and all the exhaust and heat and, you know, I'll be, God forbid, this bitch catches on fire when I'm just, you know, cruising on the street because of, you know, freaking stupid oil seal like this. That'd be nice if they had another little O-ring, which, no, that's just a race where the other, other thing sits. But I'm going to go and I'm going <clears> to <throat> break clean all this. Let me take this guy, you can see even the caked up oil inside there, you know, from it getting all crusty and stuff. But this is the safe spot I got. <clears throat> and there we go with that. Make sure the kids can't touch that. So now the next step to do is pretty much snap ring pliers, take that out. Um, then you got some more inside there and then just to change out this guy, I don't know if you can see that, that it's a fine, 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 fine snap ring that's there on that side. Pull that one out, slide out the bearing, and then you can kind of see the thrust bearing, the silver, all the way from this side. But you know, the turbocharger is not that, uh, not that difficult in terms of um, engineering. I mean, of course, with the machining and stuff, that's it, but in terms of moving mechanisms, it's nothing too difficult. Um, so that's what we'll see. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, get all that, and then put on my new kit. All right.